Hi beautiful souls, it's mom here. I wanted to film a quick video to talk about the number one thing where people fail with their manifestations and how you can help yourself to get more into alignment so that what you want can come to you easily. I'm shooting this video from the most incredible spot in Lara Bay here in Cyprus and I wanted to share this moment with you. It's just absolutely breathtaking and spectacular place to come to. If you ever find yourself in the Mediterranean in Europe, be sure to visit Cyprus and Lara Bay. Uh, earlier on we watched some turtles hatching and it was just absolutely incredible. I, but let's get back to the video. right if you want your dreams to be manifested with ease and it's something that not many people talk about within the spiritual community or the law of attraction community and I really believe that it's such a huge shame because it really blocks people in so many ways to get their dreams realized in the physical third dimensional reality you're probably already pretty familiar with the classic framework ask believe receive that has been shared within the secret or that Abraham Hicks, you know, talks about, but where a lot of people fail is uh, acting on their dream and desire. Um, even the word law of attraction has the action within it. You just need to really pay attention to your behavior. What do you do after you have set an intention to manifest something in your life? is just as important as what you do before you know the whole process around getting clarity and setting an intention and visualizing feeling already having it um, is obviously super important and then letting go releasing it and trusting that what you want is already yours that's only part of the process the second part of the process just as important is the action taking an aligned action that is heart-centered um, towards the desire that you really have in your heart what often blocks people from being in true alignment is is a lot of self-sabotage some people in, ask for something or set an intention to manifest something but they actually speak into the reality a complete opposite we've had a situation like this recently with one of my clients where she wanted to manifest a loving relationship into her life on one hand she did everything to prepare for it such as set the intention you know get clarity about the ideal partner that she really wants to be with how she wants to feel when she's with that person releasing it and trusting but then where she failed miserably was around her language her thoughts her actions that she was taking that was telling me that she wasn't in alignment at all and this is something that we have to pay attention to every single day in every single moment to be super present when we are manifesting because it's so easy to get into the trap of complaining whinging moaning so what she would do she would ask for a loving partner but then she would then she would say statements such as that she always attracts the wrong kind of guy that nobody sort of um, that there is a lack of conscious um, creative type of men available and all of these things come out often in the most unexpected way through you know random chat with a friend or you know when writing an email or when having a binge to your mom over the phone or a best friend and you may not even realize but you're actually sabotaging yourself if you're somebody like her doing that so maybe you've asked for a loving partner but then what you speak into the existence actually contradicts the thing that you've asked for really pay attention to your beliefs to what you're speaking to what you're thinking to how you're feeling and make sure that you are in alignment you imagine yourself like an archer like you know in the archery you have to you have a target and you basically point and shoot 
and then you hit the bullseye and the same applies to the process of creation you the creation starts the minute you think of something that you really want to have then you have to reprogram your limiting beliefs to make sure that you actually on a subconscious level of the mind believe you're worthy of having you're allowed to have that you're deserving of having it that it's easy for you to manifest that into your existence and um Obviously, then you release it, you trust the process, you trust that it's already coming, but what you do after the intention is set is just as important, making sure that all of your thoughts, all of your feelings and actions go in straight lines so that you can be like that archer hitting the bullseye running right in the center, hitting your target. If you have unconscious thoughts if you find yourself in moments where you are whinging complaining moaning to somebody about not having what you want actually often sabotages your manifestation and this is a biggest trap that a lot of people fall into and then they ask themselves oh yeah you know i've asked for this five months ago and nothing ever came but it takes a certain amount of honesty with yourself to reflect on your own behavior as to whether or not you were in a true alignment and you were super conscious about what you're bringing into your reality with your thoughts, with your voice, with the language, you know, with what you're speaking out into the reality in every moment and with how you feel and the actions you take. And if you have issues in any of those areas, you will be out of alignment. Therefore, you will not hit the target. So it's, it's very simple. But a lot of people struggle with it because it requires a certain degree of um, honesty, self-awareness and kind of being present with yourself during the day, being present with your thoughts, being present with your feelings and looking at the kind of actions you are taking in in your day-to-day life in every moment and asking yourself, is this in alignment with what I'm creating in this area of of my life? So for example, in the case of my friend, Danny, she had to get super real with herself and ask herself, is my behavior, is what I speak about myself and about the, my dream man in alignment with the reality that I'm looking to create? And the answer was very simple, no, because she would sabotage herself. She would speak into existence things like, there is lack of men out there, there is lack of good men, she only ever attracts a bad boy. And you have to, at some point, break through these negative patterns in order for you to be able to create what you want seamlessly and with ease. And it starts with being super present and super conscious, you know, super present with your thoughts, feelings, intentions and actions in every moment of your creation. And when you do that, when you get into the alignment, then everything is so much easier than you, you basically will hit that target that bullseye right in the center with so much ease and grace and it's effortless um you cannot miss so this is what i wanted to share with you today it is a super important subject for anyone looking to create um things in in their lives that are meaningful fulfilling and also add value to not only themselves but other people so be very conscious of how you tr- you know, talk to yourself and what you are speaking out to others about your reality, your worth, your deserving, your the lens through which you see the world um, because that will end up manifesting uh, whether you want it or not. The universe is always listening. So be sure to only ever speak into the existence of things that you truly desire and want to bring into your reality and if you ever find yourself in a moment where you slip and you know you had a bit of a whinge to a friend over the phone about something that um, was upsetting to you or hurt you or you maybe you struggled with trust struggled with letting go struggled with releasing or struggled with manifesting anything kind of into your reality for a while you just sort of had a bit of a whinge about it to a friend then we are all just humans that's fairly normal Um, what is however important to do is to get back up on your horse and carry on and refocus and make sure 
that you will pick yourself up and continue to commit to yourself to create the things that truly means a lot to you um, everybody makes mistakes we are only human but use that as a learning for you rather than beating yourself up about it there is no point beating yourself up about it you just pick yourself up where you left off and carry on and um, there is no other way you know if you get super aligned with your thoughts feelings intentions and actions there is no other way but for you to hit that target hit that bullseye so if you like this video um, please like share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in another video coming down to the turtle area come with me this is so exciting we came to the Lara Bay it's absolutely beautiful here and I highly recommend anyone who is in Cyprus near Paphos to visit uh, because this place will take your breath away it's gorgeous <laughs> 